I'm Jory Jensen, baseball instructor, and today we're going to be talking about how to break in baseball gloves. The number one thing about breaking in your glove is to decide what is most comfortable for you and how you put on your mitt and how you put on your glove. Um, some players like to put two fingers in, that, in the last pinky slot, one there and one there, leaving the index finger slot completely empty. That would cause your pocket to be a little bit deeper. Um, most infielders, however, like to play with their play with their fingers in each of the separate finger slots. Some with them out, some with them in. That's kind of up to you, whatever is your personal preference. But it's important to know how you want to hold your glove. Um, and then the biggest thing is to play catch with that glove. And I know it's going to be hard to catch the ball for a while. That's why we're going to make sure we use two hands every time we catch the ball, making sure that we make it a quick and easy process. Another great way is just as you're sitting on the couch, just throw the ball into your glove, catching it uh, the way you would like your glove to close and the way you'd like your glove to squeeze. That way you make sure you catch the ball every time. Um, another, another important thing with breaking in your glove is just putting in some, some sort of oil or some sort of glove conditioner. Um, this is, this is, con this is uh, Nakona glove conditioner. It's really good for your gloves. I wouldn't overuse it because if you do overuse the Nakona glove conditioner, it will cause your glove to be heavy as well as any oil or, or some people think that water will break in your glove. Water is actually really bad for your glove. Um, anything that you put on there could cause your glove to be heavier and the heavier your glove is, the harder it's going to be to make a play. Um, this is just something very light. You'd put it on, rub it in like lotion. You know, don't, don't put on too much but just make sure it's a, it's a good fill that your glove has a, a chance to dry. And, and the best way to tell whether or not your glove needs oil is just to lick your finger, lick your finger and rub it in your pocket. If you see that the pocket takes the, takes the moisture from your fingers, um, that's going to let you know that your glove needs oil. Uh, as you can tell, my glove needs a little bit of work on it um, because it is a little bit dry and the leather, the drier it gets, the more susceptible it is to break or to crack or to tear. And, and I'm Jory Jensen, baseball instructor. We've just talked about how to break in baseball gloves.